They'll be calling you a radical. We have a very, very, very important study that came out yesterday. University of California, San Francisco. Big, big, vast. Biggest study I've ever seen. The biggest study on the Chernobyl workers. I think this needs to be said, as you guys know, I've been following along my vlog that I've been fighting for my life with cancer. Of The whole thing gist of my entire vlog, a lot of it has been to create credibility and get rid of the hyperbole, get rid of the falsities and the untrue liars in our media when it comes to the nuclear fallout, the environmental poisoning, the whole thesis of media. This study that is out is so important as I've been fighting for my life. This study in leukemia, in leukemia, as I'm linking this study and these words of this study, I think it's very, very important. As I, there is absolutely no doubt in my mind, no doubt in my mind that plutonium, as we know as accumulated, builds up in your body and causes leukemia. As I rant and rave about that, then I get a very rare, crazy, hardcore form of leukemia. I was given two months to live a year ago after I rant and rave that Fukushima's gonna give every leukemia as my father was in the trench, nuked to death as he died of leukemia, as the doctors and everybody that I've ever talked to says it cannot pass through the gene pool genetically. It's just one of life's ironies. Mm. This study, those men that are still left alive, that they included in this incredible, incredible study showing the incident of leukemia, remember this. How many days were those men actually exposed? Was the area that they were in extremely high level? Yes, oh, no doubt. But it was only their exposure so long, and look how many of them are killed, look how many of them died. Then, boom, they're out of the circle. Now, let's be very clear on this. The circle of the Ukraine, the circle of the contamination, which it is the entire globe, but the closer you get to the epicenter, the more it is contaminated. As the contamination circles the entire globe, and every single word that Helen says, she's incredible, is exactly, exactly, exactly right about Chernobyl. It has killed at least a million people. A little girl in our hospital died as leukemia and exposure age causes all kinds of crazy cancers. My cancer, as it formed in tumors, I was diagnosed with carcinoma. I think it happens hundreds of hundreds of times I hear on the WASAC. There's only four of us that were lucky enough to get a good pathologist to find this. A 33-year-old woman in a mammogram. As you guys know, I like to use the word mama as Moby Dick's where I get that connotation, by the way, all you mammals. She's on her second bone marrow transplant. We, we have an incredible leukemia unit in ran. There's a 56-year-old male. He's made it five years. I've made it one year against all odds, and there was a five-year-old little girl, incredible little girl. That's the cruelty of this disease. As she has passed to the next place, she would draw angels. As the tumor formed in her brain, the leukemia, it's called OS or Dumo, and I think thousands and thousands of people get these tumors. I had a good friend two years ago, his name was Fred Blair. I loved him, I loved him. He told me, a couple years since Kevin, I got this slow growth cancer down my lower right mesenteric. You can see him shriveling away, but the doctors keep telling me that it's slow, so I'll be all right. Then I get a call, he's dead. It reared up. I think he had the exact same identical cancer as I, as every doctor told me the same thing as they told him over and over. Finally, I got this incredible oncologist, Dr. Anthony, who stepped in and hypothesized, and he knew of my work as an anti-nuclear advocate, my work as ranting and raving about leukemia, as my father was an atomic veteran nuked in the trench. One other thing, I put up a video this morning, well, I haven't put it up, I did a video this morning as a whistleblower from one of the major universities on the West Coast has leaked a report to me. I have it. I did the video, I got, had my finger right there all day on the button ready to publish it about a study of plutonium in the West Coast, well, the levels of it, and I will not release it. I will not release it until I get confirmation, and I'll tell you the reason why because there's so many you assholes out there, you trolls who play games with us, just like that guy who released the one. If, I mean, what kind of scummy people do that, really? So I don't know who this person is. I mean, they've been emailing. I get hundreds of emails, but 
They've been emailing me back and forth for a long. I think it's very credible. I, I, I believe them. But I will not release it without confirmation. As I've been fighting for my life, and I says I will stand by you. This study, finally, I mean, we're talking 26 years later, as the IEA, those terrorists, they are, this playbook of covering up, covering up, covering up, covering up, Chernobyl set the table for the Fukushima cover-up, which the Fukushima has set the table for the Sandy blackout. I mean, you elitists sitting in Manhattan, all you television reporters, you news producers, whatever, you live right there and you're doing this to your own people, to your very own people in Queens, in Jersey. How sick are you, really? How sick is, we continue to, you know, wow, Wow. Stay tuned with me. Hopefully I'll get confirmation on this report sometime today. Scary, scary stuff. As the war is evil, I can tell you that right now. As somebody posted to my site, don't you forget about it. As I put up that video that I made about the nuclear triangle, my painting as I am an artist, as I planned my own funeral, I really did. I'm not in denial about this, and I did, and I made that video for my funeral. I had some pictures blown up for my own funeral. When he emailed, don't you forget about it, I emailed right back. Same band, same genre, same time. Alive and kicking. Kevin Blanche, stay tuned.